Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toast and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video and today we got the 7 star awakening, the maintenance finished early and I gotta say Gumi, you've, you guys have been on point with those maintenance, they don't last long and uh, finally we can play the game nice and early on Thursday. So, uh, we're gonna cover uh, Maritime Strategic Nicole, uh, Strategist Nicole guys because today you got a 7 star and to be honest if you guys have to use a unit of choice ticket to get a second one this guy is amazing and guess what he's gonna be the best buffer in the game for a really long time because even in JP he's still uh, probably the best even Eurasia cannot compete with him even though she's a good uh, buffer but Nicole is just he's just perfect he's just perfect for the job and we're gonna go over his stuff right here so get his TMR, that's a must for this character and uh, if you have four of him, get his super TMR, it's gonna be really really good, it's called the Divine Art, it's a rod, attack 16, magic 151, spirit 54 and you wanna equip Leviathan to this guy because basically increase HP and MP 15% and Water God's favor will increase Leviathan's evoke damage by 75% so you can do even more damage if you evoke with Mr. Nicole. So let's go over his stuff. So his max stat increase is gonna go for HP 600, MP 100, attack, defense, magic and spirit across the board 50. Uh, so that's pretty standard for a 7 star unit. Basically all the moves that he gets, uh, at level 105 he gets water infusion, adds water element to physical attack for 3 turns to 1 ally. So it's already, it's always good to basically give the water element to certain allies or stuff like that uh, especially if you have non-elemental weapons during a fight and you need to add an element to the weapon so that's really really good at level 105 you also get enhancing stance basically five turn cooldown available on turn one recovers 100 mp to one ally remove attack and defense uh, attack and magic break from one ally increase attack and magic 175 percent for one turn to one ally and increase LB gauge five to one ally. So let's say, let's take example, you have Eo or Sora who basically chains finishes their own chain uh, and you have another unit that's chaining with them and he has his attack and uh, magic broken, whatever. Uh, so you remove the attack and magic break from Eo even though the other unit that you're chaining with still has their attack broken, just the fact that you're boosting the attack by 175% you're building up that chain and that chain finish is gonna hit really really strong so this move is really really good but you guys can see right here uh, the MP consumption consumption sorry is uh, off the chart so 120 for this one then he has heroic stance basically on the seven turn cooldown available on turn one increase attack defense magic and spirit by 150 percent for three turns to all allies increase evoke shin gauge two to four and MP 180. So basically, this move is literally the same as uh, Ignis, who can buff your attack, defense, and magic spirit by 150% on turn one. But him, it's on a six turn cooldown. <clears throat> but Nicole, seven turn cooldown. But it's already good. Because guess what? You do this on turn one, it's a stance. So you do Link stance. You do this on turn one, impregnable stance, and you're good to go. Because after all, you have to cast is maybe your. Uh, your moves right here, iron stance, safeguard stance, you do whatever you need to do and you just keep those buffs on because it's super, super good. Then, he has barrier stance, which is another, another move that he gets at level 110. Basically on a 7 turn cooldown, available on turn 1. Mitigate damage taken, 40% for 3 turns to all allies. And same thing, increase uh, Esper gauge 2 to 4. So if you guys want, you can also cast these two moves on the first turn. Uh, it's going to cost you a lot of MP for a grand total of 325 MP on one turn. Uh, really expensive, but you know for three turns, your party is going to be uh, almost indestructible. So that thing is really, really good. I'm telling you guys, he is one amazing unit and he's going to stay the best buffer in the game for a really, really, really long time. Then, let's go over his uh, passive abilities. Basically on uh, level 101, when you gave him his uh, own TMR. Increase resistance to confuse 100%, which is really, really nice. Increase defense, spirit, and HP by 20%. And increase Esper bon bonus stats by 20%, which is really, really good. 
because you get that increase in raw stats to your character from the Esper. So the stronger your Esper is, the more you get on uh, Nicole, which is really nice. Then, level 115, magic 20%, which is pretty cool. And on level 120, this is basically an uh, overpowered move, in my opinion. This is really, really nice. Increase LB gauge fill rate by 25% to Nicole. And every single turn, you have a 50% chance to autocast Moral Boost. And what Moral Boost does, increase LB gauge 1 to 2 to allies. So every single turn, you have a 50% chance where you're just... Nicole is just going to give 1 to 2 crystals of LB to every single character. Just for free. Every single turn, just like that. This thing is amazing, guys. He is crazy, crazy good. Uh, let's go over his magic. Basically, he gets the Flood. Uh, so he's able to chain with any other character that can Flood. Uh, so decrease Lightning Resistance by 50% for 3 turns. It's a 12 hit move. Then he gets Raging Water. Water Magic Damage 1.2 with consecutive increases 9 times for a grand total of 12 times max. So you guys can get a 12 times multiplier on this. But to be honest, you're not going to be using this move that often because his main job is just to keep your party alive. And 7 star Limit Burst or uh, yeah, Limit Burst basically is crazy. Increase Attack, Defense, Magic and Spirit by uh, 150% for 3 turns to all allies. Remove attack, defense, magic, and spirit break for all allies. And restore HP and MP 20% to all allies. What more do you want from this guy? It's really expensive with 40 Chris. But if you guys want to build him, just build him where he's able to build his LB gauge nice and quick. Because basically on turn 1, you can cast these beautiful moves right here in Eric stance and barrier stance. And basically you have 3 turns where you're able, able to build up your limit burst as much as possible. Then BAM! On turn 4, Limit Burst, so you still have your 150% uh, up for the party. So guys, Nicole, if you have him twice, 3 times, 4 times, 7 times, 8 times, just make him a 7 star. This guy is crazy good, and like I said before, he's gonna be the number 1 buffer for your team for a long, long, long time. On this note, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please leave a like down below. Let me know if this video was helpful. And don't forget to hit that little bell to get notified whenever I post another video. And please, guys, don't forget to subscribe. On that note, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.